What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode, this is episode number 96 and we start today's episode with some player training here for Djokovic and Ryan Tyler and also finding out that two of our youth players want to terminate their contracts, Maxime Fisk is one and also Callum Haber is another one and now these two players here do get their contracts uh, or I should say offer contracts to the first team but these two players as we know, you know with these sort of players here with Canada and you know the youth players in the Watford Academy right now their chances of succeeding here at Watford is very, very slim. We discussed it a few times, I'll discuss it again. These Canadian players, the plan really is quite simple. Promote them to the first team and then just sell them or loan them out as soon as possible so they can get some game time and development right from the beginning. Because youth players do actually grow okay at the start of their careers. I have noticed that this year if they start off at a low overall, but they're still nowhere near good enough for the Watford team as we know that. So if we can get them into the first team, loan them out or preferably sell them straight away, just litter the lower leagues of English football with Canadian talent, and that would be good to see because obviously they could still be good enough for Canada in years to come. And of course, Canadian project is still going to live on here in his career mode. So we're taking on Swansea for the first game of today's episode here away at Wales at the Liberty Stadium. Wait, in Wales, I should say. At the Liberty Stadium here, taking on Swansea away from home. Coming on the back of that win against Southampton, the victory drove by a goal to nil. Neymar scoring the only goal of the game. Swansea would take the lead in this game through Nathan Dyer. And let me tell you something. When Nathan Dyer at five foot, what? Five, five foot six maybe at a stretch, heads the ball in you know there's something wrong with your defence. So pretty poor there to see Swansea take the lead in this game through little Nathan Dyer getting on the end of that cross and heading it in for what must be one of the first headed goals of his career. Swansea won what for nil was the score and in this game I really did struggle to break down the Welsh side. Really did find it difficult to get myself inside too many times but in the 81st minute here as the game was coming to its close we were still trailing by a goal to nil. But Marco the Magician bobs and weaves and gets himself inside and gets taken down in the area and wins a penalty. Definite penalty as well. Got completely floored by Kyle Norton, I think it might have been. But a definite penalty regardless. We uh, stand up and take on Mario Balotelli here against Costille. One of the final chances of the game. And Balotelli, with ice in his veins, rarely misses a penalty. Doesn't miss this one. And bails us out with just over seven minutes to go. So in the last episode, we had the first defeat of the season. We were beaten by West Ham in the Capital One Cup quarterfinals away at Upton Park. Had to be West Ham, didn't it? For the first defeat of the season. Uh, West Ham beat us and ended our quadruple hopes, but we are still undefeated in the Premier League season, or as things stand. We were a few minutes away from having our first Premier League defeat of the season, but Ryan Tyler wins the penalty with some nice uh, agile movement, gets himself taken down, definite spot kick, and Mario Balotelli does ensure we will claim at least a point from this game. So final score, Swansea won, Watford won. We almost grabbed ourselves a winning goal late. Tom Acostiel made the save, but he did finish as a score draw away in Wales. And we'll take that because, you know, I discussed in the last episode uh, whether the game was too easy for me. It's actually just gone live right now as I'm doing this commentary today on Monday. Um, I discussed whether the game is too easy for me. That's what a lot of you guys have the opinion of. And I discussed the fact that, you know, it's it's not really a great game this year, as, as we all know, really. Uh, FIFA this year is not exactly one which a lot of people like, myself included. I've said before, it's probably the worst FIFA I've ever played before. Um, it's not that great. But, you know, after that loss to West Ham and then only scraping a 1-0 victory against Southampton, almost losing that game to Swansea, right now it's beginning to get a little bit tougher, it's ironic how that's happened isn't it, how uh, I discussed in the last episode you know, the game was feeling a little bit too easy and now it's starting to get a little bit tougher now, it's starting to get a little bit more difficult, maybe yeah, you've been watching my videos I don't know, but uh, even so, the game is starting to get a little bit tougher for me now, or at least I feel so and uh, the games are becoming a bit more challenging so a score drawing that one, and uh, at least good to uh, stay undefeated in the league, but either way would have preferred the win, obviously, we take on Manchester City though, for the second game of today's episode here, back at Vicarage Road in the Premier League first chance fell to City, and then the 18th minute here, we would open the scoring through guess who, when he's got his second goal in two games, and he does celebrate against one of his former clubs, Super Mario Balotelli, who hadn't had the best of starts this season, in all honesty. Last season was absolutely fantastic when beginning the season off, scored many goals in quick succession. This season, as things stand, he's only got his seventh goal in the Premier League so far, which isn't terrible. It's not terrible at all, but considering the fact that last season he was already into double figures at this stage in the season, I guess you could say it's not as good as uh, we would have been hoping. But uh, still, it was Watford 1, Manchester City 0, Balotelli scoring against one of his former clubs, but City tried to respond here in the 68th minute and get themselves back on level terms. David Silva held off Tommy Hoban for strength here, which I did not see happening, and he plays it inside to Yaya Torre, through towards Marek Hamsik, and the former Napoli man assists Sergio Aguero, and the Argentine puts it past Jack Butland and into the back of the net to equalise for the away side, I mean, 
make it Watford 1, Manchester City 1. So Aguero with the equalising goal. Butlin did get some contact, uh, contact on the ball, but sadly couldn't keep it out. And it does deflect into the bottom corner. And City do equalise here with just over 20 minutes to go. So Sergio Aguero with the equalising goal. Only his first in the Premier League this season. Must have been injured or something. I haven't noticed it. But uh, still, Sergio Aguero does equalise for City. And it was how the game would finish as well. So another draw for us. Another score draw. Final score, Watford 1, Manchester City 1. So only one win in our last four games. Not exactly perfect for Watford, considering how good we started the season off with. Maybe now we're starting to see that the game is becoming a little bit more challenging for me. And based on the comments I've read of late, that must be pretty good news for you guys. But uh, still following that, we get some emails here, a useful monthly report and also a scout report as well. Love the fact the scout report is on the first of the month as well, along with the useful monthly report too. So I can just sign players into the academy and check them out straight away. I mean, I know I could do that anyway, but uh, in terms of footage, so you can see them straight away. But uh, still, you have a look at the useful monthly report there and you would have seen the email as well. The January transfer window has now opened. Yes, get in. The January transfer window has now opened in career mode. Everyone loves transfer windows, don't they? They're so fun. So the January transfer window has now opened in career mode. And as you look in the squad report right here, if you missed the episode I put out of Club and Country last week where the January transfer window opened, from now on what I'm going to do in my career mode saves is when the January squad report comes around, I'll also show you the stats of the players as well as the attributes. You'll know that month by month in career mode, I'll show you the attributes of the players in the squad report, but never show the stats. In January, I will show the stats as well. Uh, so you can see how the players are currently getting on on the pitch as well. If you look at the squad right here, you can see the squad, the attributes they had, performances they've been putting in this season. I don't really know what we'll be doing in this January transfer window because we spent all of our money in the summer transfer window. We got a few million pounds for our qualification in the Champions League and miscellaneous tournament prize money as well. But in terms of strengthening this Watford team, in order to bring in a new player, we would have to sell at least one or two players. And I don't really want to do that because, well, right now our chances of a quadruple have officially gone. We know that. But I don't particularly want to mess around the squad too much knowing that this may well be our fourth and final season. And if nothing else, I want to make sure we do win a couple trophies this season to go along with the Community Shield and the Copper Europe. Don't particularly want to risk, you know, changing the side completely, massively changing the side and then ended up uh, not being able to get on with the players like I currently do right now. So I'm not entirely sure we will do much in this January transfer window. There's still a chance we might do one or two things, but um, yeah, it's um, the, the Watford side is great on its own right now. I mean, when it comes down to doing work with this Watford team, we've already done pretty much what we wanted to do when we started, and that is turn them into a powerhouse in English football, and hopefully, touch wood, they could become a powerhouse in European football, presumably without my help, if you guys decide to uh, let me leave come the end of the season. But uh, either way... We shall have to wait and see. It's uh, been a fun uh, first half of the season, in the fourth season anyway, and we shall see what happens in the January transfer window, if anything. But uh, still, we take on Leicester here for the third and final game of today's episode here away at the King Power Stadium. Leicester, of course, the informed team in the Premier League right now. I'm not sure how they get on in today's uh, football. Uh, their game on the 28th. No, it's tomorrow, isn't it? Uh, the game's tomorrow evening, isn't it? Against uh, Manchester City. But uh, taking on Leicester regardless, Claudio Ranieri side, travelling away from home. We will take the lead in this game just a minute after the second. Uh, Second half restarted here. First half, there was only really one chance. Lot of cheek shot well saved by the goalkeeper. But in the second half, we sprinted down the left hand side with David Alaba, drilled the cross into the centre, and there was Neymar to tuck it in and get his sixth goal in the Premier League so far. So, Neymar this season, obviously the big signing for us on a pre contract, hasn't been amazing for us, but he does get goal number six in the Premier League this season and make it less than nil. Watford won. But uh, another good chance here for Lot of cheek to get his first goal of the season in the 63rd minute. Good save by Allison, though, and turn behind for a corner. And a comment says we have another corner here. Here is Ryan Talley gives it to Loftus Cheek on the edge of the air and goes for goal. But once again, Loftus Cheek, poor old RLC, is still searching for his first goal of the season because for the third time in the game, Alisson denies him and it is still 1 0 to Watford. But in the 69th minute here, how about this? Rejoice, RLC. Yes, persistence pays off for Ruben Loftus Cheek. It has been a very, very long time coming. But in the 69th minute, in minute 69, Ruben Loftus Cheek makes it less than nil, Watford 2 and gets his first goal of the season. But what an assist, by the way, this was from Lewis Cook. Unbelievable stuff. I brought him off the bench. And this free ball, after a nice first touch, went through the legs of the defender, nutmeg the defender with the free ball, and then RLC's first time finish went into the bottom corner. And we can forgive him for celebrating this goal like he'd won us the Champions League final, like Ryan Tallon did last season, because it's been a long, long time coming. But Ruben Loftus-Cheek has his first goal of the season. So Leicester nil, Watford 2. And, you know, I've seen the comments. I've seen a lot of you guys saying, how on earth does he still get into the team? You know, seriously, play Barkley, play Buffal, play someone else on Loftus-Cheek. Hasn't been doing it in the performances. Hasn't been growing either, as we know. But... 
I really like Loftus Cheek. As a versatile player, I'll say this right now, he's been one of the most versatile players I've ever used in FIFA before. He can literally play anywhere on the pitch. That's why I really like him so much, and I'm so relieved he does get his first goal of the season, and what a nice finish it was. 2 0 will soon become 3 0 as well, because in the 74th minute, after some nice passing, we played the ball, uh, ball through towards Marco Ryan Taller down the right hand side here, who cuts inside and shoots on his preferred left foot, and he hasn't had the best of uh, seasons this year either, Ryan Taller. Won us the Champions League last season with that fantastic winner in uh, stoppage time from the free kick. He's only got his third goal in the Premier League this season, though, uh, Ryan Taylor. Not having the best of seasons himself, but either way, he does make it less than a Watford free, and the points are in the bag. So we're about to return to winning ways in this one. Sadly, that was going to be a perfect result for us. We would get the three points. We wouldn't win by three goals. In the 77th minute, Mares curled in a beautiful free kick for Leicester. Having a fantastic season in real life, and what a superb goal this was from the free kick. I positioned a man on the line there, but for some reason, despite the fact I was hammering down circle as quickly as I possibly could, he decides to just leave the ball and let it go into the top corner. Great free kick by the number 26. Not going to take it away from him, but uh, either way, I would prefer my defender decide to jump and head the ball off the line. Even so, the final score was Leicester 1, Watford 3. So we return to winning ways in this one. Great to see Loftus Cheek gets first goal of the season. Another goal for Ryan Tyler as well as third of the season. And Neymar gets goal number 6 for him. Most importantly, though, we do return to winning ways for our first win in a couple. And I'm really, really pleased with that. But that does the episode, though, guys. So thank you very much for watching the video. Really hope you have enjoyed it. If you're enjoying today's episode of Career Mode, then please do leave a like, so it's much appreciated, and of course, read the channel out, and I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode very soon.